Hey folks, this is your instructor Terry Austin. We're going to take just a moment to look at the practice anatomy lab that you'll find in the study area on mastering. So here we're logged into mastering. Over in this left hand side we've got study area. We're going to open that and what I want you to watch as the study area opens is this left hand blue banner. I'm going to zoom in down here and what we're looking for is PAL, the practice anatomy lab. I'm going to open that and as we do, I want to open next this link right here, the Practice Anatomy Lab. I'm going to click that, and now we have the Practice Anatomy Lab open. You've got to have a browser that will enable Flash. So you might have to install the Flash plugin, or using Chrome sometimes helps with that. Uh, what we're looking at today is histology, and using this to study histology. So I'm going to show you, this is a section from our lab book. Uh, histology starts, I believe, on page 11 and goes through page 13. And you have a list of items to learn, like simple squamous epithelium, simple cuboidal, simple columnar. And all you really want to do is come in here and find these. So let me get that list out of the way for a minute. I'll bring it back in a bit, so don't worry. Uh, and we want to come to the histology section. There's also, by the way, great anatomical models. So if you want to look at stuff like the axial skeleton for the skull, some great stuff here. But again, my point today was to show you histology. So back out to home and histology. We uh, learned in lecture that there are four main kinds of tissue, epithelial, connective, muscle, and nervous tissue. And I'm gonna bring you in here and let you look at epithelial tissue because we are looking at this list, which again is some of the epithelia that we will be studying here. So simple squamous, simple cuboidal. And as you look at this practice anatomy lab, it actually tells you at the top of the screen what's visible on this particular slide. Uh, this one, for instance, shows a simple squamous and simple cuboidal in the kidney. And apparently, we can actually zoom in on this slide. So I'm going to click plus and zoom in a little bit. I'm going to turn on some labels over here. And this will show us some things along the way. This stuff, for instance, is simple cuboidal. As I hover over the words, you can see that that uh, highlight pops in to show you exactly where you'd find simple cuboidal. Over here we get some simple squamous. So I hover over that word, the highlight pops in, and we can see that. Uh, we are currently looking at slide number two out of a total of 31 epithelial slides. So all I'm going to do is scroll forward to slide three. That's also got some simple squamous epithelium. We saw a picture very much like that in lecture. Turning to slide number four, this is also simple squamous. Uh, and here we're seeing, looks like the length of a tube. In this case, it happens to be the length of a blood vessel. Turning the page again, we have some simple squamous. This is a top-down view of these simple squamous cells. Uh, you've heard me say in lecture that these often resemble uh, fried eggs, and you can sort of see that here. They're like looking down on the surface of some fried eggs as opposed to edge on, which we had earlier. Here's some simple cuboidal, and I'm going to click again to zoom in on those. There is our simple cuboidal epithelium right there. Turn in the page. More simple cuboidal, which we can see right there. Turn in the page again. Here's some more simple cuboidal. Happens to be in the thyroid if you really care. Turn in the page. There is uh, some simple cuboidal epithelium right there. Happens to be a duct that's lined with simple cuboidal epithelium. I'm currently on slide 11 out of 31. This is getting us into some simple columnar right there. We can zoom in on that, which is actually the same as going to the next slide, but I'll click zoom in anyway. And again, there's simple columnar epithelium. And you can continue this. By the way, you can even take these words and type them in here in the search bar. So we could search for stratified squamous and just search for that if you don't want to continue scrolling and you're going to find anything that's got that set of terms in it. There we go. Here is some uh, stratified squamous. Oh, that's stratified. Here we go. Stratified squamous epithelium keratinized. Click that. We'll go into the skin. And we should have a picture coming up with stratified squamous any moment now. There we go. I'm going to turn the labels on there. And there's our stratified squamous epithelium. So you can either use the search bars 
or back out of here in histology you can go through and look at individual items along the way let's scroll backwards through here and see what we got there's some transitional from the bladder and to put the labels back on you can kind of see the same thing right there there are uh, transitional epithelial cells right there by the way you can also come in here and quiz yourself on this or you can do a practice lab practical the difference between quiz and lab practical these are not for a grade at all these are just ways for you to test yourself quiz will be multiple choice and lab practical will have you typing in the actual answer this one lab practical is going to be most like what you'll do on a real test in the classroom so I would try both of these if I were you here in quiz you can actually sort of test yourself the epithelium type highlighted there the yellow stuff there that's gonna be looks like simple squamous to me so let me pick that and check my answer hey I got it right let me get one wrong for you and let you see what that looks like what kind of epithelium is highlighted there that looks to me like it's props okay we have nuclei that look like they're on more than one level they're really not that is probably pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium that would be the right answer I'm gonna pick something wrong and go for transitional and turn in that answer and you can see I got it wrong and it's telling me that that happens to be pseudostratified columnar that's what it's like when you're taking the quiz here is what it's like when you're doing the lab practical let me click that and continue actually you've got to exit out of that quiz now here we have another scenario this actually wants us to type in an answer what looks to me like we have highlighted here is the nuclei of that pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium so let me type in nucleus or nuclei by the way it should take either one of those turn in nuclei and move on it's not going to tell me if I'm right or wrong here by the way identify the highlighted epithelium that looks like it's probably simple cuboidal now since epithelium is in here we probably shouldn't have to type that by the way you can turn these highlights on and off if it helps you sometimes it's uh, a little bit easier to see that looks to me like it's probably simple squamous you've got to type these correctly by the way now you'll notice it's not telling me what the answers are along the way here you've got to wait till the end and you'll get your score